Hi, it's Linda, and today we're going to talk about how to sync your documents, pictures, and desktop folders with OneDrive. This is a something that has come about in 2018, and they first released it to people with just OneDrive for business with a business account, but then they decided to release it to people with OneDrive consumer. So anyone can use it. And these are the things we're going to be going over. It will work with, like I said, any OneDrive account. You do need to have space available in your OneDrive account. If you have an Office 365 business or a home account, then you get a lot more storage than just your basic, I think we get you get one gig with a basic consumer account. There are some file types not supported, like the PST files and OneNote. So if, if um, you try to sync your files and you get an error, it, it'll tell you that you, and you just have to move them out of there into something else. Or what, what I did, because I ran into this, I just moved those folders into OneDrive because OneDrive will sync them, but just not this OneDrive file protection that will not. If you do decide to stop the sync, the files will stay in your OneDrive unless you take them out. But any new files that you put in your My Documents folder won't sync it, sync to it. I would suggest just taking them out and, and deleting them or putting them somewhere else so you don't get that mixed up. So I did want to take a look at what it looks like. You can see down here I've got the, the consumer cloud, which is white, and the, the blue cloud, which is the business. Looking at how to get to it, you go to your settings and you come up here to this auto save tab. And hopefully everybody has this now. If you don't, then it's still rolling out to you. You can say update your folders. And you see I've got the three check marks here. I don't have anything saying I can't do it. And it's going to say I've got 970 gigs left. And I'm not going to do it right now. I, I want to show you what the white cloud, the consumer cloud looks like because it is a little bit different. If we go over to autosave, you can click here to automatically save photos and videos to OneDrive when you connect a camera. So I'm not going to do that because I, I do my picture pictures a different way. But I am going to click automatically save screenshots. And so I'm going to say update folders. And you can see I do have this one message on MP4. You have a limit of 720 like that. And I will have 890 gigs because I do have a OneDrive and I do have 890 gigs left because I do have an Office 365 home account. So I can say start protection and it's setting it up. And we're not going to watch this, but what, when it's done, then you, you, you will have your, these folders and they'll be in your OneDrive folder list and you can look at them there. You can come down here, they say, and, and watch what it's doing, but that's pretty much it. I hope you will do that because most of us, if you're not protecting or backing up your pictures or, and desktop with some kind of backup program, then this will at least help. All right, thanks a lot.